<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Books and Shooks. My name is Sabrina and today I'm going to be going online book shopping and I thought I'd take you along with me. I, I do apologise if I sound a bit sick. Uh, I tested positive for COVID last week and I'm currently still in isolation. Uh, so I thought doing this would be, like, going online book shopping would be fun. I do have 70, a $70 Amazon voucher. We did this promo at work where if you sold X amount of this certain product, um, whichever store kind of sold the most, they'd win some Prezi vouchers and our store did. And so I got a $70 Prezi voucher, which I was originally going to put, uh, I transferred it to Amazon and I was going to use it to buy a Kindle, but it's not eligible to be used for a Kindle. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy some books with it. I've got $70 sitting there. Why not? So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoy. Uh, but yeah, if you want to stick around and see what kind of books I am going to pick up and uh, an unboxing later on when they get here, then uh, stick around. I think we're done. I don't know. I, I like added a whole bunch of the books that I really wanted into the cart, and I think that was the wrong thing to do because then trying to like get rid of the what get rid of some was really hard. Uh, and not only that, but I had to look at the price and try and get the price down. And sometimes, like if I took a couple out, it was going too far under or too far over, whatever. Um, so. I, yeah, I'm at $72.43 at the moment, which I think is pretty spot on. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm really happy with what I've got. There are definitely so many more that I still would like to get, but I am really excited for these ones. I just want to make sure I'm, I swear, oh, I've got to sign in again. Yes, it's eligible for my $70 gift certificate, thank goodness. So my order total is $2.43, which I think is pretty good for a bunch of books that I like. So, yeah, so I'm going to place the order and I will wait until they get here and then I'll do a little unboxing for you guys. Hopefully it's not going to be too long, maybe like a week. Okay, cool. Exciting. So, estimated delivery is the 11th and the 14th of Feb, so it'll be a week and a bit and then I will film an unboxing for you. I didn't, like, obviously I've 
you know, I had a $70 gift card, so I wasn't able to buy like a whole heap, but I'm glad that I stuck to my $70 mark because <laughs> I don't need to buy any more books, but I thought why not buy them because I'm in lockdown, I want to do some online shopping and I have a voucher, so why not? There are so many more books that I want to get though. I've got this huge list of, there was a bunch of them that I would, would have liked to have got this time, but they were either unavailable or they were going to take like two months to get here. Hi everyone. So it has been about a week uh, now since I ordered those books. Uh, it is the 10th of Feb today and I ordered them on the 3rd. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to get them until at least the 14th, which is what their estimated delivery date was. But with COVID delays and everything, I kind of assumed it would be longer than that. But I got them like three days ago. So I went to the post office this morning and I have four packages. And I'm very excited, <laughs> if you can't already tell. So yeah, I'm going to go through and show you the books that I picked up. I ended up picking up four books uh, with that $70 voucher that I had from Amazon. And I only ended up paying like $2.40 something out of my pocket, which was pretty good. So I'm going to go through them all now, open them as well. I love unboxing, so I'm going to unbox or well, unbag them. Not unbox, unbag. <laughs> I do apologise if you'll be able to hear chickens in the background. I'm filming in my little reading nook and the chicken coop's like literally outside. And they're complaining, even though they have nothing to complain about because I let them out all the time and I give them heaps of treats. They still like to complain. So just, I do apologise for that. <laughs> but let's get on with it and I'll show you the books I picked up. Alright, so, four packages. I don't know where to start. I'm going to just grab the first one. And go through them and let you know what I got and what they're about. All of that jazz. <laughs> okay, so the first one that I picked up is The Ninth Child by Sally Magnuson. Now this, it's kind of a historical fiction I would say. It's set in Scotland in the 1850s in like the Highlands. Basically it follows Isabel who is a uh, doc young doctor's wife and she's been grieving the loss of her unborn children and she finds unexpected freedoms among these hills up near the Loch Katrine Waterworks, an industrial wasteland, no place for a lady. A new life is within her again and uh, she can only wait, but a darker presence has also emerged from the gunpowder smoke and he is waiting too. So it's kind of like historical fiction, there's a bit of mystery. It does say that she likes to blend history and myth and like folklore and stuff like that. The Ninth Child kind of gives me vibes like Hannah Kent. Like Sally Magnuson gives me similar kind of vibes that Hannah Kent does. If you know who Hannah Kent is, she writes Burial Rights, The Good People, and she's got a new one that just came out called Devotion, I think it is. And she likes to write kind of historical stuff, but mixed in with folklore and a little bit of mystery and that kind of thing. And I reckon that Sally Magnuson is going to be very similar. And I love the cover as well. It's got like thistles all over it. It's very beautiful. So that's one of the, that's the first one I picked up and I'm very excited. <laughs> Next one. I love opening packages. Like it's so exciting. And if I wasn't filming today, I would struggle to not open them. Like, I really would struggle. <laughs> Alright, what's this one? So this one is A Lady's Guide to Mischief and Mayhem by Amanda Collins. Love this cover as well. So it's set in the uh, 1860s in England. Our kind of main character is a notorious newspaper columnist, Lady Catherine Bas Bascombe. And she's determined to educate the ladies of London of the criminals who are preying on the fairer sex. But when her reporting leads to the arrest of an infamous killer, she flees to a country house party to escape her doubts about the case, only to become witness to a murder herself. 
When the lead detective accuses Catherine of inflaming rather than informing the public with her column, she vows to prove him wrong. The love interest, his name is Detective Inspector Andrew Eversham's. Yeah, Catherine proves it surprisingly insightful and Andrew impresses Catherine with his lethal competency. Both are forced to admit the fire between them is more flirtatious than furious. So basically, she's a newspaper columnist, he is an inspector, a murder happens, she is a witness, and they both help each other to solve it. But they have a bit of a uh, flame between them, they're very flirty and everything, and I am so excited for this, it sounds so good. Alright, the third book. <laughs> oh. I think this is the one that's on the similar lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this one's along the same kind of similar lines as that, and it's called Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. Again, really cool cover. And basically, it follows Annabelle, who is one of the first female students at Oxford University. And in return for her scholarship to this uni, she has to recruit some influential men into the women's suffrage movement. And her first target is Sebastian Devereux, a cold, calculating and the most powerful duke in England. When Annabelle and her friends infiltrate his luxurious state, she's appalled to find herself attracted to the infuriatingly intelligent aristocrat. Soon Annabelle is locked in a battle with rising passion and a will matching her own. She'll need to learn fast just what it takes to bring down a duke. But I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, it just sounds so fun. And the last one, which isn't a big package. I didn't know it was going to be this big. But basically... <laughs> The last one I picked up is The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce. It's a thriller. I've been on a thriller bandwagon at the, um, well, I've been on a bit of everything at the moment, to be honest, but I love thrillers. I always love them. And uh, this just sounds very exciting. So there is a, uh, there's an isolated hotel up in the Swiss Alps. Uh, Alan Warner, she's taken time off from her job as a detective to go to her estranged brother's engagement party at this hotel. And she arrives in the middle of a storm, she immediately feels on edge, and although it's beautiful, something about the hotel is off, uh, and it makes her nervous, so does her brother. And then they wake the next morning to discover his fiance has vanished, and it goes from there, and I'm so excited. It sounds so good. I've heard so many good things. I've read so many good reviews about it, and I'm very excited to add this to my shelf and uh, pick this up very, very soon. So that's the last one that I picked up. So they're the four books that I picked up in that little Amazon haul. <laughs> and I love them all, and I'm very excited to read them. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, leave a like and comment down below. Let me know what books you've picked up recently and also if you have read these books that I have what your thoughts on them were but anyway I've got to go and let these complaining chickens out because they have not stopped all video I do apologize but I'm gonna go let them out and uh, give them some treats <laughs> I will talk to you all in my next video bye guys